All right, we're going to revisit this, the same problem on the next slide. Just remember x squared plus 3x minus 18. We factored to x minus 3 times x plus 6. So here you go. You can see the same original problem. And now what we're going to use is a method called trial and error. So we can factor trinomials using trial and error. And I usually do this method when the leading coefficient is 1. Uh, and what we're going to get is, of course, our answer is going to be a binomial times a binomial because we just factored this a second ago. So now, uh, if the leading coefficient is 1, it makes the problem just a little bit easier. Uh, what we'll do is we'll look at the same number here, just our constant, and figure out what will multiply to give me that, and then what will add to give me this. If you notice, this time I did not include my variable. Okay, I only used uh, the coefficient of my variable. So this number is negative 18, and this number is a positive 3. We still think multiply, and we still think sum or difference. Because our product is negative, we are looking for our difference. Our factor pairs, 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. You should see a lot of repetition here. Now, the one good news is that uh, we're going to kind of go to our answer immediately. And that's what we're going to do is trial and error. So uh, we've kind of gone through the steps. To get x squared, we know we need to multiply x times x. Okay, that's the only way you can get x squared, x times x. And then uh, what we can do is we can go right to our answer. So we found our two numbers to be 3 and 6. This has to be positive and negative. So we can just go ahead and put negative 3 and a positive 6. So again, this times this is x squared, positive 6x, negative 3x will add to give me a positive 3x. And then negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. So again, this is an easy method to use. However, uh, it doesn't always work. It doesn't work if the leading coefficient's not 1. Because if this is the large number, okay, where you had something like 24 here, you're going to come up with, you know, 50 different possible outcomes. So what you need to do is uh, just kind of use that factor by grouping to help you. But then if you do have a leading coefficient of 1, then you can use trial and error by doing these exact same steps.